Oh my god, I love Indian food! Hi everyone, your Global Daisy here. Welcome to my channel. So, us Indians, we love to share our food. It's sort of like a community thing, you know? You see, for us Indians, we enjoy eating our food much more in the company of others rather than all by yourself. I was kind of the oddball when I would keep the entire plate of samosas all to myself and finish them all off all by myself. You see, I never liked sharing my food and I still don't to this day. Having grown up in the West, that habit of mine became even more accentuated because I realized Westerners do not like sharing anything, especially food. Also because I just think they're a bit germophobic. The Western culture upholds a much more individualistic approach to life than the Asian culture does. So in today's video, I am going to be breaking down the differences when it comes to eating habits in the East versus the West. What happened, yeah? Why are you eating by yourself? Um, nothing. I just thought I'd have my lunch. Oh, I, I thought you were by yourself, na? Are you okay? Are you sure? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just having my lunch. Uh, you can come join me if you want. But I ain't sharing my chicken kofas, that's for sure. Eating in India is a way of bonding together. It's a way of spending quality time with your family, friends, unwinding, making great conversation and ultimately just having a good time. Westerners really enjoy their space and privacy a lot more and so eating alone is actually a very common sight that you'll see, especially in cafes, restaurants, lounges, malls, offices, you name it. So, the rows of heads very deep down into their laptops, sipping their coffee in Starbucks with their headphones plugged in, shutting out the world in front of them, guys. It's completely normal, don't worry. But that's a different topic of discussion for another day. Okay, so you know I'm not lying when I say that us Indians have been questioned and misunderstood quite a bit, especially when it comes to eating with our hands, right? Can you relate or not? Yes, we do eat with our hands. But here's the thing, we actually enjoy it because for us, somehow, the food ends up just tasting better. Also, I just feel it's a form of convenience eating with our hands, considering the variety of finger food options that we have here in India. You have your rotis, your sabzis, your samosas, your gulab jamons, and you can't forget those chicken kofas, right? And it's not unsanitary. We wash our hands, guys, before and after eating. As we know, in the West, they prefer using something called spoons, knives, and forks. But hey, I did get some of my white friends to try out the infamous butter chicken and naan using their hands and they just couldn't stop licking their fingers clean. Oh my god, this was so good. This is not you said, right? Oh my god, I love Indian food. Wake up by five, you head for a job by six, you catch the train by seven, you work your nine to five job, you schedule it in a So I got a little carried away by that. Technically, Westerners will never have their dinner beyond 6 o'clock. 4 to 6 is their dinner time. So there was a saying that my professor actually drilled into our heads to constantly remind us of how important time is. It went something like this. If you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, you're dead. So ever since I've moved back to India, I've become a little rusty. You see, time is not really a concept here, okay? Lunch at 1 o'clock? Yeah, right. Dinner by 5? Hell no, that's not gonna happen. We Indians, we like to enjoy 
savor each and every single moment of life. You know, so I had to kind of get used to having my lunch by 3, dinner by 10, or sometimes not at all. In many communities in India, as well as other Asian societies, uh, such as the Japanese or Chinese culture, actually enjoy eating their meals on the floor. There are some communities here in India that will eat on the floor uh, with their food placed on banana leaves. Uh, this is actually a way to practice authenticity and mindfulness while you're eating and enjoying it in the most organic way possible. In the West, from what I've experienced, it's going to be really rare for people to have the time and put in effort for a nice family dinner around the dining table. To be honest, it usually really happens either during Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas lunch. Otherwise, you mostly just find a place on the couch or in your room, finish your food and just run off. So good, no? Okay, so this was something that I could not get myself to be okay with when I moved back to India. Now, hold on, hold on, I've done some research. You see, in most Asian societies, burping or slurping is actually a sign of appreciating the food even more. You ask for larger portion sizes to actually show that you're enjoying the meal a lot more. I mean, I have legit had people burp in my face coming out of a restaurant. I get it. The pasta was good. My chicken kofta curry was amazing. But if you were my date right now, I would not be impressed. Table manners, especially in really orthodox Western families, is kind of a really big deal. So much so that you've got to avoid putting your elbows on the table fold the napkin exactly the right way and use the right dessert fork to eat your cake. If there is such a thing. So there you go. Those are some of the differences when it comes to eating habits that I could think of. Can you guys relate? If so, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share the video, and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I do make new videos every single Saturday, guys. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please keep your suggestions and your feedback coming to me. Leave a comment down below. You can also follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at DadGlobalDesi and keep your suggestions coming, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's it for now. Your Global Daisy signing off. Until next time.